Hi, an academy. I'm so sorry. Firstly, I would like to apologize for the previous lesson. I had to cut short uh, very, very quickly during the paroxysm time because the time was too off. I guess the chapter was too long, but uh, all the content which is given inside the lesson is fine. So I hope you understood. Still, if you have any problem, then you can ask me in the query section. So in this lesson, we're going to start with a very interesting topic, which is the centrioles. Now, centrioles are again um, another or organelle which are actually considered um, associated with the cell division or the cell cycle so uh, let's start with this one some quick facts all animal cells have two small organelles which are termed as centrioles the centrioles help the cell to divide so as i told you they're associated with division centrioles are seen uh, the process of mitosis and meiosis and the centrioles together are typically located near the nucleus in the centrosome so they are located near the nucleus that's the position you've got to remember centrosome is a granular mass that is the organizing center for the microtubule the position of the centrosome within the centrosome is at right angles to each other okay so two of them are present and both of them are present perpendicular to each other centrioles are made of nine bundles of microtubules which are arranged in a ring the centrioles play a major role in cell division in animal cells the centriole play a major role in cell division but the plant cells have the ability to reproduce even without the centrioles so um, the plant cells are independent of centrioles and they can initiate their own division without them in certain animal cells like the female oocyte, some cells have shown successful division even in the absence of centrioles. So in the female oocyte, uh, centriole is absent and still it divides. The absence of centrioles causes divisional errors and delays in the mitotic process. It is a consequence consequently suggested that centrioles have evolved as a cell refinement that makes mitosis a more efficient and lesser error prone process. Okay, so uh, the centrioles are cylindrical shaped cellular or organelles. They are found in most of the eukaryotic cells and they are a main group of uh, microtubules and these microtubules are arranged in a pattern of 9 plus 3. We are going to understand how this pattern of 9 plus 3 arrangement is possible. Uh, so the pattern of the microtubules for a ring of nine microtubules is known as triplets and the microtubules are arranged at right angles to one another. In animal cells, the centrioles help in organizing an assembly of microtubules during the process of cell division. So that's what the function is, uh, organizing an assembly of microtubules. The replication of centrioles happens in the interphase of mitosis and meiosis and the centrioles called basal bodies form cilia and flagella so cilia and flagella is a lesson that we're going to do next so these have the basal bodies which uh, from which the cilia and the flagella structures arise okay so let's see where the centriole is located this is an animal cell and right here as you can see this perpendicular to each other the centriole is present okay so now you can see these are uh, nine nine uh, structures of microtubules which are present in uh, triplets and two of these bundles are present uh, perpendicular to each other. Let's talk about the structure of the centriole now. At the anaphase and telophase, the centriole, ap centriole appears as two cylindrical structures. They are open at both the ends and are located at right angles to each other, which we just saw in the diagram. Okay, So each of the centriole is made up of nine triplet fibers and these triplet fibers are arranged in a circular manner that gives it a barrel-shaped appearance. So let's go at the back. So this is arranged in a circular manner and it, it gives it a barrel-shaped appearance. Within the centrosome, a mother centriole and a daughter centriole are arranged at perpendicular angles to each other. These two centrioles are tightly attached and are surrounded by a dense matrix which is known as the pericentriolar material okay so the mother centriole is a mature structure it has additional appendages and is involved in anchoring and position of the microtubules comparatively the daughter is a young and immature structure length of the centriole is 3000 to 5000 angstrom and it is about 1500 to 1800 angstrom in diameter the triplets are tilted that is they form an angle of 40 degrees to the radius of the cylinder
okay so there's a difference between the mother centriole and the daughter centriole the mother one is uh, mature and it has got additional appendages as well whereas the daughter appendage is the daughter uh, centriole is somewhat immature and young this is the length and the diameter and this is the angle uh, from the radius of the cylinder each triplet fiber is composed of three subtubules or subfibers. Each subtubule is of 250 angstrom in diameter. These subtubules are hollow structures and their walls are made of monomeric units of proteins. The subtubules are made up of protein tubulin. So you've got to remember that all the subtubules they are present uh, in three and uh, these are made up of a protein which is termed as tubulin. Centriole internally shows a characteristic cartwheel structure. The cartwheel structure has a prominent central rod and nine spokes radiating from the central rod. In uh, 1958, scientists like Belly et al. Uh, said that the centrioles are surrounded by two crowns that lie one above the other. Each crown-like structure is comprised of nine spheres that are known as massules or corpuscles. All the structures that surround the central together constitutes the central satellite and the number of these satellites vary. The centrosome structure is made up of lipids and proteins. However, it also contains some carbohydrates and nucleic acids too. So this is some uh, additional information of the composition of the centriole. You've got to remember the protein which is uh, inside the subtubule. You've got to remember the, the structure that it is found in. That means it is in the uh, 9 plus 3 arrangement. It is a microtubular form. It is cylindrical and uh, both the bundles, they are uh, present perpendicular to each other. So let's see how is it present. Uh, these are the microtubule triplets that we said, three in each and all of them they are nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine right here. So uh, these are the connecting fibers. So each triplet is connected to each other by connecting fibers as you can see here. So here we've got the A the B and the C uh, triplet and each A is connected with the C of the other okay with the, the help of an AC linker this is the foot right in the center this is a radial fiber which connects the the, the radial um, the center axis to the uh, triplets okay so this is the radial fiber or the spoke and then you have the microtubule triplets right here Okay, now let's talk about the centriole function. In higher animal cells, the centrioles form the mitotic poles. We already did that. Forms the mitotic poles. Centrioles function as the microtubule organizing center. It is an important event in major cellular processes, that is cell division and flagella formation. Okay. So centriole pairs, they duplicate uh, within a cell and the two pairs migrate to the opposite ends of the cell to organize the mitotic spindle. So this uh, point is stating how a mitotic spindle is formed okay uh, so the two pairs are formed they are imitated during the cell cycle and they migrate to the opposite poles of the cell and then during transition phase or G1 or S of the interface the existing centrioles disengage from each other each centriole gives rise to a new centriole and uh, the centrioles that are newly formed remain tightly attached to the parent centriole and it elongates during S and G2 phase. In the prophase stage, the centriole pairs start moving towards the opposite pokes of the cell and also form the spindle simultaneously. So this whole process describes how uh, the centrioles are formed and how the centrioles kind of uh, form the mitotic spindle and help in the cell cycle. So the migration and position of the centrioles determines the orientation of the spindle obviously wherever the spin uh, the centrioles would go there the spindle would be formed so it also influences the chromosomes attached to the spindle fiber the spindle fibers are responsible for the segregation of chromosomes into the daughter cells at the end of each cycle the cell has two centrioles one the mother centriole and other newly formed centriole which is the daughter centriole after segregation, the centrioles determine the position of the nucleus and also influence the cellular organization in the newly formed daughter cell. The centrioles may also produce flagella and cilia and the fiber of the tail of the sperms also arises from the uh, centriole. Okay, because uh, the, only, the only human cell which has a flagella is a sperm. So, uh, because of the swimming uh, capability, it needs a flagella. So, these are arised from the centriolar area. The dysfunction 
functioning of the centrosome is also responsible for the development of certain cancers so see how every organelle it kind of provides its own important to the cell and even if that little organelle is absent or it functions improperly then it may give uh, real problems to an organism on a whole so i hope you understood this lesson thank you so much for watching if you have any problem you can write me down in the query section q and a section please follow me rate and review this course and uh, recommend this to your friends